Hello, this is Trinant, and this is Gadurian's Blitzkrieg 2 uh, mixed with Case Blue, Operation Typhoon from 1941 to 1943. It is the second player's turn of the first game turn of this giant game, and I wanted to show off the aircraft refit phase, which I haven't shown off in the first player turn because all the aircraft are fit. You don't need to recharge them or anything. So, the first part of every turn is refueling aircraft. This can be interesting in that you don't get supply before you get your aircraft uh, having to be refit. Meaning that the aircraft here, if you leave them without any supply to refit a turn prior, they're not going to get refit next turn. So, because you don't have a chance to get supplies first. So, I've marked every stack of uh, airbase with an active aircraft that could be refit with little yellow cubes. Uh, there are a lot more on the German side than the Russian side right now because the Russians have been using, the Germans have been using their aircraft given that it was their turn. What that means is that uh, I'm not going to be refitting too many aircraft here, but it's just to showcase what I'm doing. So, let's see, in hex, A3805, which I think is over 3805, where is that? Way down, I think. Yeah, and reserve, there's a stack of aircraft. I've, um, so I have little aircraft cards, airbase cards, uh, marking spaces that have aircraft in them so I don't have to stack them on the same hex with a lot of units making just this gargantuan stack. So that's why I was looking at that hex. But there's no, I was just marking that, but there's no actual cube there, no airbases need to be refit. The first one I see of the Russians is over here. In this hex with this orange aircraft. That is hex 3425. 34 being the column and 25 being the row. So we're going to look at this and it is a level one airbase. Level one airbases can refit. Oh, that should be a level two, shouldn't it? Because it have, has four aircraft. I'll check that later. Either way, it doesn't matter for this case because a level one airbase can hold up to five aircraft at a time. It's at four plus its level and can, res and can uh, refit w in one turn. Uh, two aircraft, it's level times two. So to refit its aircraft we need one token of supply sent to it from somewhere. And let's see if I can do it from here. Lo and behold there are two supply points from back here and I'm going to definitely fuel from the back lines because I want to keep any supply points I have under this base still there. So I'm going to have to go to my supply box, wherever I dumped it. Oh, it's all the way over here. Grab some supply tokens. This is what I get for not beat checking if I'm ready. So we're going to grab this. This is all my supply points not step over a cord and trip. That would really suck. Put it right down next to these scissors. I've been spending a lot of time organizing my layout and doing arts and crafts to store this game. So one token from two supplies leaves us with one token and three supply tokens, or one supply point and three supply tokens. All right, so we're going to put that over here.
Now aircraft have two states. They can be active or inactive. They do various missions in the movement phase mostly. Uh, some of the missions are during the moving segment, like airbase transfers and fighter sweeps. But And then there's a special barrage segment in the movement phase at the end of it where fighters can do bombings on troops. So any fighter, any aircraft on top of the airbase is active. Any of them are under the airbase are inactive. So all we do is we take the inactive aircraft and put them on top of the airbase. And that's done. So if I had refitted aircraft at a airbase on one of these cards, I would just slide the inactive aircraft to active. Uh, Slot the sniffles. It's been a little cold this week. So we're going to look for more aircraft that need to be refit. And there is a set right here. So we're going to go over here and refit some aircraft. Now can they be refit? There's one, I would have to spend one token of supply. And I actually don't think there's any supply points near nearby. Um, there might have been a headquarters that could have thrown it earlier. But it seems to me like I'd have to truck over supplies to even refit aircraft there. So putting an aircraft on that hex was a mistake. We'll just leave it be and be very sad. I might make a note of that, that it needs supplies in a second. And then keep going, keep going, keep going. And we are at the third airbase that needs refitting. This one, which is under a nice set of glare. Plexiglass makes recording so easy. So this is hex, this is map B, hex 1427. And there, and I have a card for this. There is one inactive aircraft there, and if I spend a token, what's this guy doing? Why is he there? He shouldn't be there. Well, I'm gonna have to inspect all of this in a second. But if I have any supply points here, I do. I can spend a token to refit that aircraft. I'm actually gonna save my token because there's really, it, it would be wasting one token on one whole aircraft rather than a bunch. I think that's a waste at this point in time. Now, our final aircraft is under this space. This is why I mark them with yellow cubes because sometimes they're covered under stacks or something. So I'd have to remember, I would have to check every single airbase otherwise. So, this one is also marked by a hex, or no it isn't. There is one, two, there are two aircraft under here. This is something I actually will bother refitting. I have four supply points, so I'm going to spend, so I'm going to have three, and three tokens left. Let's put the tokens on top because those will change out faster than the full supply points will. Okay. So, ah. so that's the aircraft refit phase. Nothing much to it. All right, I need to put the aircraft that were inactive on top. An aircraft stack on top of the full stack, you let 
though as far as stack inspection goes, this is a multiplayer game. The, a player can stat, inspect the top aircraft, an HQ if there's on top, and the can and always can inspect the top um, combat unit. That would be the um, or any unit that can exert zone of control. In this case, this uh, 12 to 2 um, infantry division. But otherwise, they're not allowed to look under the stacks. If there was a hedgehog, I could look under it and see if there was a what the top unit was. And that's a clever little rule to make it so you don't um, spend time like just counting units and planning where you're going, and uh, kind of and just whacking your paws around. So. That's the aircraft refit phase. The Russians will go on to reinforcements and movement. Uh, last turn I recorded a lot of videos for every single phase essentially, but I just wanted to show off most every phase. I think from now on when I do turns I'll just do summaries uh, and stop at various points. I think the format will be like, uh, you know, every kind of few segment, every few phases or something maybe whole turns. We'll see how it goes. Anyways, this has been Tremont. Thank you for watching.